The following is a short video of how sequences evolve. Let's start with an ancient organism and a piece of its genome sequence. Some of these organisms migrated to different places. After some time, they could have gotten separated by, for example, a mountain range. This divided them into separate colonies and they ceased to have contact with each other. On each side of the mountain range, the climate was different. On the west side, it was warm. And, on the east side, it was cooler. Perhaps, more rain also. The time passes by. And, both sides, west, and east, the organism slowly adapted to their separate living environments. Generation after generation, some of the bases in their genomes mutated. And, some bases got deleted. Finally, they evolved into two different species. However, the detailed history is not visible to us. We can only see two different species. Species, that, today, have similar genome sequences. If we knew the sequence of the ancestors, we could tell whether these two species originated from the same ancestor. The problem is that we don't see the ancestor sequence. We can only see the present day sequences. This is where a sequence alignment comes to rescue. We can align the two sequences, and, if they turn out to be similar enough, we can say that they are homologues. In other words, they have a common ancestor. How similar the sequences need to be, is another topic. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And, subscribe.